Everybody, I'm Louise from Wildflower Will, and welcome back to my channel. Can you believe it? It is day 11 of Vlogmas. The last 11 days have flown by so quick. It is now exactly two weeks until Christmas. I brought up some projects here to show you. Tonight's little video is just going to be a quick catch up on what I've been doing. First project is my dishcloth that I'm turning into pot holder. I'm working on the crochet slip stitch seam. On these and it's going not too bad I started up here at the top this was my cast off edge it worked okay I was really hoping or wishing that I had a crochet hook with a pointier tip on it though because trying to get into some of those stitches was a little tricky but I got it and I think it looks fairly neat and tidy I start, I'm halfway, oh no, I'm like more like three quarters. I'm almost finished down the side here and I'm not quite as happy with it. Definitely the next time I do this project and if I go in with the intention of making a hot pad or a hot mat or a, something that I'm going to be putting them together, definitely slip that edge stitch because as I'm going in here now, I'm not really sure what I should be picking up. So I'm trying to pick up something as close to the top as I can so it's not as bulky. But there's a couple places, I think I look this way. I don't know, there's a couple of places it does, it looks just a little bulkier than I would like. So I think that's just practice. Cause you know, my crochet, my crocheting is pretty limited. So just the fact that I am doing this is making me really happy. It's making it really, really happy, I have to say, because I do like that nice edge that you get on there. I can't believe that I went all these years avoiding doing this seaming method. So it um, makes me happy to be giving it a try anyways. And and the more I do it, the more that I'm going to get better at it, right? So let's do one right while I have you here. I'm just really eyeballing it. I'm not sure how far apart I should be putting these stitches. Maybe that's, maybe that's part of the reason some places looking a little bulky. Maybe I'm getting them too close together. I'm not really sure. It's going to be a little trial and error. And the thought did cross my mind. I would keep this. I had thought the, the plan was, was to gift it. And I probably should still do that. But I really quite like it. I just need to make some more. Okay, there's a couple more done. I'm just going to carry on. Practice makes perfect, right? That is a saying for a reason, I suspect. So I'm going to keep going on with that. This is all the yarn I've got left. Just a tiny little ball. I'll have to make a scrappy dishcloth, a scrappy Christmas dishcloth out of that. What else do I have? I can show you my poor sock. Oh, what did they say about best laid plans? How I thought I was going to, I thought this will be so simple. I'll do my inch and a bit every day. Probably should be about an inch and a half every day and just work a little bit every day, set it aside, work on the next project, be a great way to get it done. Yeah. In theory, that sounds wonderful. In reality, I have done nothing more on it than I showed you last time. I, I'm ready to work a decrease round. I think I'm just going to have to sit and knit on my sock one day, maybe on Sunday afternoon, put on a couple Christmas movies for the afternoon and just sit and work all those, get all these decreases done 
and then work on the foot. Yeah, just doing that little bit every day, just, it, I just never got around to it. I don't know what else to say. But this weekend will be catch up. <laughs> that's what my weekend seemed to be these, these last few weeks, have our catch up weeks. And I guess that's not a bad thing. Okay, my Christmas hat. This is what I've got. This is what I have left for yarn in this first ball, which is not a whole lot. So I don't think I will get the whole hat done out of that. I'll have to break into a second ball, but that's okay. I bought lots of balls, so that's not going to be a problem. And this is how far I am. I haven't even measured it, but I know obviously I'm not anywhere near doing the decreases. I'm probably, I don't know, halfway there maybe give or take a little bit. This is going to, this is the exact same size as hat number one. I cast on the same number of stitches, worked two inches of ribbing, increased some stitches, and now I'm just working round and round and round the stockinette until I think I need to go. I think it was eight, eight inches, I think is what I worked from my cast on edge up. And then that's where I started the, the, the crown decreases. So I'm doing magic loop, which I typically don't do. I usually, I would prefer using a 16 inch needle and just going round and round and round, but I couldn't find one. So I found the needle tip size that I needed in this long, This it's a really long needle and I'm working magic loop. The upside of this is, is that I'm not going to have to find DPNs for the decreasing. I can just do the decreases on this needle and I'm good to go. The only downside is, is just being really careful when I get to the, both of the, the ends where you've got to turn it is to pull those stitches tight. So I'm not getting any ladders or any little gaps between the end stitch on one needle and the beginning on the other. But so far they look pretty good. And on hat number one, it looked, it looked good. So I don't know, hopefully that looks, I think that looks okay even stretched a little bit. I think we're, I think, I think I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to keep working around on that. I've got ball number two up here, ready to pull out to finish off this hat. The other thing that I've been working on out quite a bit is my pom-poms. So let's do a quick little pom-pom recap because I have a feeling that every video from here on out is probably going to have a little pom-pom preview in it. There at the teeny tiniest little one, this hot pink one, Makes this, this guy right here. Oh, I see a few I could trim off a little bit better, couldn't I? Anyways, I've got a few done of those. I have a ton done of this size. The pink. And here, this is what it makes. I have a lot of these guys done. And just in the two color. This, I'm calling this the poinsettia colorway. Just green and red as opposed to the green, red, and white. The color I've been working on today is with this lime green pom-pom maker and this is the size it makes isn't that a gorgeous size I love this and I really like how the white is in there it just really brightens and livens up the pom-pom doesn't it I really like this color but it's darker the white really brightens it they're both pretty next up tomorrow I'm gonna to do some red and white to make like candy cane pom-poms and that is it that is all I've been working on. I'm just going to keep working on these things to try to get them finished this weekend. And I have some fun craft projects ready to try this weekend. <laughs> I am not super crafty, so we'll like cross our fingers and see how these turn out. But I'm definitely going to have a lot of fun playing around with them. And I will bring you along so you can see what I'm working on. So I will be back here again tomorrow. This is just a quick video because there's Christmas movies on downstairs and I'm running back down with my knitting to watch some Christmas movies. So I will see you back here tomorrow for some crafting fun. I hope you guys are getting in the Christmas spirit and just enjoying this. We only have two weeks left to Christmas. So I hope your knitting is coming along well and I hope you got plans this weekend to get lots of knitting and crafting and maybe some baking Christmas movie watching in there. All right, everyone, I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye.